What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Burn Down YouTube channel. Finished up working, we splashed the car off. I double checked the fluids to make sure everything was good. Life is gravy, so what we are gonna do today is I just gotta drive the thing around and I figure since we are going 100% in the drag and drive direction for this channel, uh, in case you weren't aware of that, driving is part of dragging and driving. So today we are gonna test the drivability out Make sure the changes that we made are decent, that this thing is behaving as it should. Uh, I got to go visit a couple buddies. Maybe we can kind of peek at their shops. I think you guys would like uh, both of them. One being KP Fab, and then hopefully my other buddy, uh, Jason. He has an off-road shop. I borrowed his cam bearing install tool so we can go <laughs> return his modified tool, which will be fun. Uh, he let me borrow it, and I took the liberty of modifying it, so we'll see how he feels about that. And mainly, we just want to make sure the car oil pressure looks good it shifts does its thing and we don't really want to beat on it we just want to go through the temperature ranges make sure all the you know water pumps through all that fun stuff when you first get things fired up you got to make sure you did everything properly so uh got a handful of tools got my laptop here and mostly my cell phone so first stop is a gas station we probably need an ice cream it's pretty hot um i don't know what the temperature is i want to say it's probably like at least 80 something and then on top of that we have like 11 10 days till Rock Mountain Race Week. It's 85. So we're at 85 today. So it's nice, nice and warm out. Good weather to go sit in some traffic uh, with the boom. So first things first, we got her started. When you change these things up and you do fun things with them, um, you want to make sure they don't leak down overnight when you go to start it. So the first thing we're going to do is we will crank this over without fire. Let me find a let me find an output that has the yeah, so it has oil pressure. So we're gonna crank it over without fire just to make sure it'll build pressure on its own. Because sometimes when things are wrong and it bleeds down, you'll fire it and you won't have pressure for a minute and it'll jump up. So we're gonna look and make sure hopefully that doesn't happen. So ignition is off, let's turn it over. So immediately it registered, which tells me it should be good. a whole whopping seven gallons in it looks like we didn't fill it quite up but so far so good of course she's be good nothing puking so let's go to our first stop we got to return the cam bearing tool so hopefully my buddy's there and if not he's just down the street from kp fab and hopefully he's there and if not let's drive around anyway let's roll Okay, so we found a bit of a dilemma. It's not the end of the world, but 
this is the same thing that happened in the Winnebago. It's just let my fork transmission hang out to dry. So we'll tickle the old keys on the laptop and adjust that. So let me get to my destination. We'll mess with it. Please leave your. Alright, well, my buddy is not here to return the tool. So we pulled over, shut it off. So we're going to tickle the old keyboard real quick and then we'll head on over to my buddy uh, KP's. I was kind of hoping to get that big old piece of chunk of metal roll out of here from rolling around. So let's mess with the laptop and what I'll do is I'll point it at the transmission cooler. So that way it just doesn't shut off when it's like, oh, the motor's fine, turn off, because that's what it's doing now. And I learned this with the Twinnebago. So we change a converter, stuff's a little different, and then I don't have a commanding lockup at all. So um, I'd like to turn the fan on a bit harder or longer when it sees the transmission's not doing so hot. Or it's not doing so well, I should say. So my coolant was hanging out way down here, and then in this area, and then my line temp was higher so it should have been firing pretty good but we're just going to make sure that when we're up in this area at all that the fan runs hard and then i think we'll just lower the setting on here so the fan runs longer so that's going to be the fix and then we'll have to see when we're motoring down the road where the engine likes to run so the fans actually shut off so it's like it's a balancing act this worked for the other setup but now that it's a new setup you got to change things up all right so the tranny kind of kept getting warm i'm over here at kp's he just left Here's my other boy, Junior Junior Performance. So luckily, these guys are out here to keep me company. But we have a cooler issue because this line is a bit warm, right? This one, nothing. And this guy, nothing, right? So if you got 200 degree temps, it should be hot. So that tells me we got a problem over here, Houston. Because with this cooler, it should be cooling. So... Yeah, we've got to have some sort of flow issue or a air pocket. So I did bring some AN fitting wrenches or whatever. Maybe we'll kind of crack a line and see if we can kind of bleed it. Maybe with the thing running, I'll have those guys help me try not to make a mess. But we got to make sure it's pumping that fluid out and circulating it because otherwise you're not going to cool it very well. So, yeah, but I bet money, as soon as it goes through the cooler, life's going to be good. All right, well... That's why you test. And unfortunately, this is how you learn when you go to school of hard knocks. I do not have any discharge for the most part coming out of here. Um, I cracked these with it running. There was a little bit coming out of here, but nothing. I mean, it's a hydraulic system. You figure there'd be some pressure coming out of here. So that was really not doing anything. And then it's not even, I opened it and it, it's probably splashing it in here but it doesn't make it up to here. I mean, with it running, I can crack these loose from this thing. There's nothing in here. So I'm gonna on the side of caution. Um, that, the return feeds the rear lube circuit. I don't know enough about the internals, which I do need to learn if I'm gonna continue to screw with these, but uh, I'm gonna see hopefully if I can get a ride home or figure something out, go grab my truck and trailer because I don't wanna drive it around for tearing stuff up because I don't wanna do more work than we have to. So, so much for testing. Hopefully we can figure it out before we load up and we head out to Rocky Mountain Race Week. But yeah, that's why you test and that's why you just take it easy on things, man. So you don't, if you start tearing stuff up, hopefully you catch it early like this. So wish me luck, guys. Well, we finished up the test drive, just not the way I wanted to. It came home on my trailer. Uh, the thing was getting hot. I didn't overheat it, but I did find that it looks like it's not pumping through the cooler circuit, which is actually bad because on the model transmission I have, it goes out to the cooler and then when it goes back into the transmission it goes in the rear of the case and then lubes everything in the rear so if i'm not getting fluid flow through there i'm not getting lubed to the rear of the case granted we didn't go very far we didn't go very fast so it's probably not tore up but i don't know i don't know what's lubing or not lubing so we will do some investigating tomorrow, but I feel like the best course of action at this point, because I have one weekend left before I need to kind of pack up and get ready to go. Uh, there are two known good transmission assemblies at War Performance. The one that I pulled out of the car that was working fine with my converter that's in there, because I own that converter too. Um, and then Jason has one out of his Z car. He was gracious enough. He said, dude, I'm not taking the Z. Let's just pull that out and put it in. So I have uh, two known good working transmissions. They just happen to be a five hour drive one way. So it's going to be a 10 hour drive again, plus an install. But if we do that, I'll get a brand new cooler 
So we'll just take the cooler off, blow the lines out, put a whole assembly in, and we're just putting a known good transmission in. So hopefully that would go smoother than having to diagnose and investigate um, the problems that I'm having. This thing put me through the ringer and I'm just out of time with it. We're not gonna, um, I'll pull it all apart, we'll go through it and we will get that licked and I will get that working. But for now, I am just out of time and we gotta bring a running race car to race week. So um, that is it. I'm not gonna make videos on that stuff because like I said, I feel like I don't have the time. I can keep you updated on Instagram, but I will fire the videos up when we are heading out to Rocky Mountain Race Week. And like I said, Goonies Never Say Die. We're gonna go check on me on Instagram for a quick little blip updates, and then we'll fire the camera back up when we are heading out to Rocky Mountain Race Week uh, this coming week. So, man, oh man, down to the wire as usual. Cue the uh, suspenseful music. Till next time, you guys know what to do. I'm out.